skin through the lens Opinions of three friends Looking through the lens Sometimes they don't make sense This is the new Trump bio biopic with artistic liberties well i mean aren't you know they is, I, we, yeah. aren't they all yeah <laughs> it's um starring sebastian stan mm -hmm. as mr trump you got uh jeremy strong succession fame as the mentor guy what's his Demental name again roy cone mr. yeah cone. and maria bakalova Ivana. As, yeah. Is it Ivana or Ivanka? Ivana. Ivana. Ivanka's the daughter. Follows a young Trump as he gets mentored by Roy into becoming oh, successful. I thought you were saying the mentors like, like the dementia. dementia. The mentors like the, mentors. Uh, the <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> creature. Oh, shit. Do you think that the mentors in Harry Potter have dementia? Well, to be fair, Jeremy yeah, Strong did kind of look pretty gaunt, like a fucking Wait, do, don't boy. they do some things with your memories, or is it your um, souls? It sucks out yeah. your soul. I thought it was kind of good. Yeah. I enjoyed my watch. <laughs> I enjoyed I the them. watch. Especially because I was sitting with you two boys. Pointing at the screen. Pointing at the screen. I, was I was literally, literally pointing, pointing at the screen. We're in the yeah. back row, so only like, mm -hmm. oh no, we were the yeah. second back row. So. Yeah, I thought this was way better than it was going to be. The trailers kind of looked not that good, but you know what? Yeah. Pretty good. I think this is uh, very well made. Mm -hmm. Extremely yeah, yeah, yeah. well acted. Yep. Um, I thought that, I already talked to you boys about this when we watched it, but um, I thought that the Sebastian Stan would be doing like a a bit of a caricature impression exaggerated but I feel like he really studied Trump and like got into this mannerism did you hear when he was on the talk to a podcast he wasn't on the pod that one but he was on a podcast yeah and he was like he was the button oh no sorry this was not a podcast this was just like a panel with the director yeah and he was like I was listening to Trump every single day 24 hours like I was sitting in the toilet with Donald Trump in my ears I thought Jeremy Strong was really good in the movie as well. Mm. In fact, I'd say like the first, I don't know, half of the movie where Jeremy Strong's character is, well, I don't want to say this, but I guess at his most strong. Yeah. Um, I <laughs> thought he like stole the show completely. I thought he was the best performance. He was so good. Mm. Um, and just every scene he was in, I was just like, I want to know more about this guy. I want to know this guy's crazy, man. But mm. I guess, I guess to the detriment of the movie and but it's also true to the real life. He gets weaker. I don't want to get into spoilers, right? But he gets weaker throughout the movie. And that's kind of also my interest in the film started waiting with him. I because I was like... I loser. Sure. And yeah, I thought it was better than I thought it was going to be also because just like it's so well produced. Great cinematography. It looks like a documentary. Remember the start of the movie, how they mm. put a thing up going, this is in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio or yes. something. But it's the director's vision. Uh. Yeah. I guess. Did it get wider gradually or not? Nah, you're thinking of Trump. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him, I got him there. Yeah, yeah and it's, uh, yeah. is it shot in film or is it, does, does it just look like film? I reckon they did, but like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because the, well, the colors and the, and the grainy texture looks like. Film. Yeah, yeah, I think they good. did actually shoot. They do like a, such a good job because they also, but try to match archival footage and stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. And um, that's where yeah, it looks like genuinely really good. Feel. Yeah. Right. And um, yeah, and I thought it like really, they nailed the documentary feel. I reckon. Mm -hmm. Looks yeah. Great. So we got the camera movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot choices. Where my complaints lie are, I guess, the story, right? Because I don't yeah. think the story justifies a movie because. It's uh, firstly, it's one particular point in Trump's life, right? It's particularly the one where Roy is training him. Yes. So you're not going to get like, if you're going in expecting it's going to be about the politics stuff, it's not. It's not going it, to it, literally the it. final stinger of the movie is him going, nah, I'm never going to run for politics. And it's like, yes, they did the twice in the film. They did one in the middle and then one at the yeah. end. Yeah. But that's the joke. Yeah. 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 
That's what that's what I said. Yeah. But you at the same the time, the movie kind of explains the evolution of how Trump became the character he is now, and that how that would translate to his current political. Sort thing. of, but I don't think enough. Yeah. Because it, uh, I, I also I think that I think it's very important that they don't touch upon it uh, at all enough is the fact that like. So yeah, Trump's like building up all of his business and all of that. He's getting into the real estate and it's, he's building all these build, building. building buildings and shit. And it doesn't it touch upon the fact that he's gonna go bankrupt. Like, like they go like, oh, you're not spending your money wisely, blah blah blah. But it never reaches the point of catharsis. That, yeah, the point of climax of bankruptcy yeah. didn't happen. But so that's the first thing, right? Don't go in expecting it's gonna give you like anything post the nineties. Yeah, stop that. Yeah. Movie. Um, so you go, you take it in as, yeah, Trump and Roy, right? But also, I don't think the story of that is even that interesting. I think the first half is way more interesting than the last half, <clears throat> where it's like Roy teaching him and he's kind of like, Damn, you can do this. You can do this. And I guess, yeah, the second half is kind of being like how Trump has taken those teachings and maybe even gone this. and maybe taken some of the teachings too far or something. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of boring and too long. There's also the thing of just like, he's a rich dude and there's, there's not much, like he doesn't really, the struggles he has in the movie aren't really, they're just Strike like not, like when he's like making the choice of where to invest his money, like that's not a, that's like, who cares? When he struggles with his dad because his dad's like, Mm, I don't know if you should build that building and he's like well this is a dead. really risky decision but I'm gonna do it <laughs> alright final verdicts I'm gonna give this one another 7 uh, I'll give it a 6 and a half yeah I'll give it a 6 it gives us a 6 and a half 